He says, quote, in recent years, a fiercely traditionalist movement has emerged within American Catholicism, finding a home particularly in the social media space. Bishop Barron goes on to say, quote, it has come about partly as a reaction to the beige Catholicism that I have criticized, but its ferocity is due to the scandals that have shaken the church the past 30 years, especially the McCarrick situation. In their anger and frustration, some of it is justified. These arch-traditionalist Catholics have become nostalgic for the church of the preconciliar period and antipathetic towards the Second Vatican Council itself. Pope John the XXIII, Pope Paul the VI, Pope John Paul II, Pope Bennett the XVI, and particularly our present father. The supreme irony, Bishop Barron says, of course, is that these radically traditionalist Catholics in their resistance to the authority of the Pope and their denial of the legitimacy of an ecumenical council, which, parentheses, which Paul VI said was not extraordinary in dogma or infallible, unparentheses, Barron continues, have risked stepping outside the confines of the church. Theirs is not a beige Catholicism, to be sure, but it is indeed a self-devouring Catholicism. Perhaps sensing this, dis uh, this contradiction, they remain spitting mad ah! at anyone who would dare challenge them, end quote Bishop Barron. Now, I would say to Bishop Barron, you got the color wrong. It's not beige Catholicism, like bleh. It's not beige Catholicism, it's lavender Catholicism. So what is going on here? Why do we have this timeline beginning late January with the Pope doubling down saying that he's going to be firm on enforcing Vatican II? If you don't follow Vatican II, you're not with the church. If you have your own interpretation on Vatican II, you're not with the church. In other words, he's saying if you have hermeneutic of continuity where you're trying to minimize what Vatican II says, you're not with the church either. Hermeneutic of continuity is not allowed. If you show up to a Vatican ecumenical meeting and your t-shirt has this on it, you're you no know, you kicked out. No hermeneutic of continuity allowed by Francis. And we've got Commonwealth, Massimo Fagioli, we got Bishop Barron, and now we got Pope Ben XVI. They're all issuing their, hey, I'm with Francis. I'm with Vatican II. Pope Benedict really resigned. It wasn't because of a gay lobby. It wasn't because of the Vataliques. It wasn't because of a conservative Lefebvrean theologian named Richard Williamson. It was my own conscious decision. At the time, I said it was I had bad health. Apparently, I'm better. Thanks be to God. Hopefully, people were praying for him. Um, and everyone needs to know that moving into March 2021, trads are bad. Trads are mean. Trads are outside the church. And if you're going to go around and say, well, I have Bishop Barron support. No, you don't. And if you're going to say, well, I got Pope Ben XVI's report, support. No, you don't. Well, Francis doesn't really care. No, he does care. He says he's not going to be lenient about it. He's going to enforce it. That's where things are in March 2021. And let me tell you, my friends, traditional Catholics, we should just be calling ourselves Catholics. You know that? We're just Catholics. We shouldn't have to add traditional Catholic. However, in the history of the church, this has happened during time periods. For example, if you were a Catholic in the 700s, early 800s, you would have called yourself an iconodual Catholic. That means a server, a reverencer of icons or images. Because there was another group in the church claiming to be Catholic called the iconoclast Catholics, and they were against images and icons and crucifixes inside the churches. 
They both claim to be Catholic. They both claim to be true. But there were two parties fighting for the title Catholic, Iconoclast and Ocano Duel. Today, we have the same situation. We have the modernists, Catholics, and the traditionalist Catholics. The traditionalist Catholics believe that the Catholic religion in 2021 is 100% identical to the Catholic religion in AD 33. The modernists believe that as humans get smarter and learn about orbits and gravity and DNA and all these and medicine that we have to and and um, communication and culture and anthropology and philosophy that we have to update and modernize Catholicism to get with the times. See, these are two competing. So that's why, unfortunately, we have to use the word traditional. What they're seeing is for the first time since 1969, 1970, when the Novus Ordo Mass came out, they're seeing, 50 years later, the greatest launch of enthusiasm for the traditional Latin Mass. And we're part of it. 